I'm Christine Birchwood. I am a Senior Medical Science Director at Genentech, and I'm here at Arvo to present a poster on Ectemra in GCA, tocilizumab in giant cell arteritis. Giant cell arteritis is the most common form of vasculitis affecting patients 50 years and older, and one of the most feared symptoms of giant cell arteritis is visual loss that is associated with the ischemic complications of GCA. Tocilizumab is an anti-IL-6 receptor inhibitor. It is currently approved for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, adults with rheumatoid arthritis, and patients with systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis, as well as polyarticular juvenile idiopathic arthritis. The GIACTA trial of tocilizumab in giant cell arteritis as a comparison of tocilizumab added to a short course of corticosteroids, shorter than the traditional course, which is one or two years. So this is in combination with a six-month course of corticosteroids compared to a six-month course of corticosteroids alone or a 52-week course of corticosteroids alone. The goal of this trial is to examine the efficacy of tocilizumab with regard to helping patients achieve sustained remission in giant cell arteritis and to also look at overall patient exposure to corticosteroids and protection from flares. The trial was able to demonstrate that four times as many patients were able to get into remission on tocilizumab compared to steroids alone. It was also able to demonstrate the ability of tocilizumab to protect patients from flare and to show a significant reduction in the overall patient exposure to corticosteroids. More importantly, it was able to do so whether patients were re had relapsing disease or new onset disease, and we were also able to report on visual symptoms associated with flares in the poster. No patients lost vision in this trial. Um, we were, of course, we did report also on the uh, adverse events associated with the different arms in the trial, both the tocilizumab treatment arms and the uh, steroid-only treatment arms. We can see that adverse effects were similar across patient uh, categories, with a trend towards more uh, serious adverse events in the steroid-only arms. Side effects seen in both arms were consistent with the profile, the existing profile known uh, of tocilizumab. These data are under review with the FDA and um, we will go from there.